Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about closed loop control of real cell with the button button. Thanks for watching our videos. If you are watching our videos first time, kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon and notification button for notification about upcoming videos. Let's start with uh, start with the implementation of closed loop control of real cell with buck converter in MATLAB. First, I'm going to open that MATLAB and then go to home and then click Simulink library, this one, and then just open blank model. So here first you need to take the fuel cell. So that fuel cell normally available in the power system, right? We go to Simscape and in Simscape we you can see the power system option, right? Power system and power system we have electrical uh, drives and then you have extra sources, right? So here you can see that fuel cell stack, right? Just you to drag it in the blog model. So first you have to double click the fuel cell tag and then you can see the several parameter. So I'm going to use some uh, preset model. That mean I'm going to use proton extend membrane fuel cell the having dating of 1.26 kilowatt 24 volt DC. Okay. So I'm going to choose this one and then click apply and then open this plot VA cat 6. So here you can see that the V, uh, VI and, uh, and VI cat 6. So this point known as a normal operating point. A normal operating point, the voltage is around 24.23 and current we are having 52. So during that time we are getting nearly 1.26 kilowatts. So this point known as maximum operating point of the fuel cell. During this operation, this point maximum operating point, the current current equal to 100 and voltage equal to sorry, current equal to 100 amps and voltage equal to 20 volt and total power we are getting from the fuel cells around 2 kilowatt. So this is a v, uh, VI and VI cat 6 of fuel cell. So just I'm select this fuel cell for this fuel cell I'm going to use that closed loop control that means I'm going to use uh, buck and water in between uh, fuel cell and load and I'm going to control the output voltage of the load side with the some voltage level. So here I'm going to control I'm going to step down the voltage from 24 volt to 12 volt. Okay. So uh, my objective is I need to maintain voltage at the load side at, at reference voltage of 12. Okay. So next we need to create the buck and water. So for that just you have to type series RSC branch. So this one you just you have to select this one and rotate that and connect across that uh, fuel cell. So next we that means this one nothing but capacitance so input capacitance so next we want switch so i'm going to type igbt and diode model just go to take this one igbt and diode model just connect here so next we need a diode so diode just you to use this one So next same way we need a filter that means LC filter just I'm going to take this one I'm going to change this one to L and then we need capacitance or capacitor so I'm going to take that one and then I'm connecting so change to C and then we need load also so here we need to measure current in the load side I'm going to measure current so for that I am going to use current measurement. So here I am going to connect that one. 
Karma Shan Mantra and series with the load. So here I'm going to change to R. So output side I'm going to measure load voltage, right? Load voltage. So I'm going to use voltage measurement. So, so that going to be connected like this. So next we need to use closed loop control. So for that I'm going to use somewhere. some block okay Just to come back actual voltage with the reference voltage so i'm going to connect actual so next to for reference voltage i'm going to take constant so here the reference voltage we are going to maintain in the load side which is equal to 12 volt just you to change the sign of this some block so minus plus so next we need controller i'm going to use Conventional controller, PVD controller, and then we need a P2 link generator okay, to generate the pulse power, bug, bug converter. So I'm going to connect here. Okay. So next, uh, we need to measure that means we need to use scope for output side. So here here we are going to measure three details one is voltage current and power of the load side so i'm going to use this three so first one is i'm going to connect this voltage measurement and the current measurement so here i'm going to use product to find the load power So next I'm going to measure fuel cell quantity. So I'm going to use bus selector. So here I'm going to connect bus selector here and then I'm going to select voltage current of the fuel cell. Again I'm going to measure the voltage of the fuel cell, current of the fuel cell and then power of the fuel cell so next thing we need to um, find the value for lc okay and also you have to find out the value for pid so here i'm going to do that one that mean i'm going to use program for finding lc this value so here i'm going to put value for person C so inductor L here I'm going to put C so load I'm going to consider R and then for PD parameter so I'm going to use here KP so KI KD okay so next I'm going to see about the design detail so this is a program used to for calculating that lc kp K, kd so here the power of the fuel cell is 1.26 kilowatt the input voltage is 24 volt the switching frequency is 10 kilowatts and load voltage is 12 so these are the remaining parameters used for calculating the lc or kp K, kd so just i'm going to simulate this one so we'll get the value here Okay, so next I'm going to change the switching frequency here equal to 10 kilohertz because for designing we used to 10 kilohertz. So in order to simulate this one, we need another block, nothing but power J block. So here I'm going to change this to OD23 dB and then I'm going to simulate this model. So now we check this detail. So here you can see that the voltage is maintained at 12 volt, right? 
So this is a current in the load side. So this is a load parameter, right? Just a little change here is load measurement. So this is real cell measurement. Real cell measurement. Okay. So this is known as voltage and this is real cell power. And this is load voltage. This is load current. This is load power. So I'm going to open this one load side parameter as well as source side, source side parameter. So now I'm going to simulate this one and then we will check the results. So here I'm going to measure that. So so here I'm going to use capacitance, I'm going to use high capacitance and to maintain the voltage constant. So you for my one thousand microfarad. We will check the result in the input side, load side also. Yeah. So now we can see that also this is input voltage is maintained around 24 volt. Input current is maintained at 50 amps, right? You take average in 50 amps. And then the power is around uh, 1.26 kilowatt, right? Here you can see that the load voltage is maintained at uh, uh, 12 volt, right? You can see that 12 volt, the power is around 1.26, not 1.26, it's less than 1.26 kilowatt. Sorry, the current is the around 105 or 109, okay? You can see that power rate right, is around 1.2. Or below, right? So our aim is we are applying closed loop control in the fuel cell in order to maintain the load voltage constant, right? Here we are applying the load here, right? So the same voltage is tracked in the load side and check the power level also, right? So in order to get the accurate power the input side, I'm going to use um, mean of these inputs okay so this is real cell voltage so this is real cell current So we can use another scope to compare the result of input and output. So I'm going to use max 3 max here and then I'm going to take so input voltage here input voltage that means fuel cell voltage and then load voltage fuel cell current and then load current fuel cell power and then load power okay so here i'm going to change the parameter so this is voltage so this is current and third one is power So next you have to simulate this one you can check the two detail that main input side and output side detail right so here you can see that the input source voltage is around 24 volt the load voltage is 12 volt here you can say source current is around 50 amps the load current is around 110 amps so here you can see that this is a load power sorry source power 
so this is uh, load power so it having some losses so this losses because of that converter we are using in between that source and load okay so this is a working of uh, closed loop control of fuel cell with buck converter so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel if you are watching our videos first time so kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon and turn on the notification for notification of the upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye